Redditors who married the sister brother of an ex. Is it weird having your ex as a sill bill? And how does your SO feel about the fact that you once dated their sibling? Story one, only slightly relevant, but my great ex four grandmother had three husbands and the second husband was the father of the third. So when her second husband was disappeared, she married his son and they raised 10 kids, four of whom were the bio siblings of husband number three. Five were his and one from first marriage. Edit to answer as many questions as possible. Cecilia married Charles and they had one child before Charles drowned. Cecilia then married Richard, whom she had four more children with before he was disappeared by natives during the colonization of my country, NZ. Now Richard had one more child from his first marriage called John. When Richard passed away, John then married his stepmother Cecilia and had five children with her. Cecilia had ten children all up, one from husband number one, four from H2, John's half-siblings, and five from H3, John age-wise. I'm not sure about H1, but H2 was around 15 years older than Cecilia, and H3 was eight years younger, 19 to Cecilia's 27 when they married. I know all this because we're having a family reunion next month and we're making a short documentary on the family history. Story two, my aunt is married to my mom's ex. My mom isn't too awkward about it, but my dad kind of hates the guy. Though the guy is kind of in peach, so I'm not even sure my dad hates him for that reason. Or even if my dad knows about that. For example, my parents are always tight on money and when my dad offered to buy my aunt and uncle dinner, my uncle, who is also poor, orders top shelf liquor. Story three, here I was just casually reading some of these messed up comments, before I realized this situation describes my own family. Well, my parents met when my mother was going to law school in the United States on a scholarship. My father, as far as I can tell, was making most of his income dealing sweets. I always see their marriage as one of convenience. She wanted a green card. He wanted a lawyer. And some clean income didn't hurt either. Fast forward 10 years, they have three kids together but fight constantly. My mother basically had two priorities, her children and her career. She made that work, but there wasn't much time left for the luxury life my father seemed to want. Since both of my parents weren't around that much, my mother's younger sister, who rebelled against the family's ideas of studying finance and pursued a career in music instead, would spend her summers in the U.S., taking care of me and my younger siblings. And things were going well for her, too. She had a mysterious lover who would take her on lavish trips around the world and shower her in gifts. Spoiler alert, it was my dad. When my mother found out she filed for divorce and moved back to Europe, my father and my aunt ended up marrying and having two kids of their own, who are now both my half-siblings and my cousins. My mother and father hate each other passionately to this day and only see each other in court for the legal battle that has been going on for over 20 years now. Weirdly enough, I still think it turned out for the best. Both my parents are much happier than they ever were when they were together. Story 4. My Parents my mom, at 15, told her sister, who was dating my dad at the time, three YR age difference, that she was going to marry my dad. My aunt laughed and said it's a girl crush. A few years later, my aunt and dad had broken up. Mom and dad are both attending the same college, had a few classes together. She knew who he was. She seemed vaguely familiar to him. Eventually, they started to date and get married after dating for five years. Mom's family loved him. Aunt and mom are still great friends and talk have always joked about it. As an adult, I asked my aunt the last time I saw her, a few months ago. She said she always knew my mom was right when she saw them interact the first time after they, she and my dad, broke up. My parents have been married since the 70s, still act like teenagers. I think my aunt was the vessel that brought them together. Story 5. My family has a great confusing, messed up up example of this. My mom is the youngest of five, with four older brothers. My oldest uncle Ken dated a woman named Vicky. They broke up. Then my second oldest uncle Jim started dating Vicky. This was awkward. But my uncle Ken got over it by dating Vicky's younger sister Linda. So now my uncle Ken is married to Linda, his ex-girlfriend's Vicky sister. And my uncle Jim is married to Vicky, my uncle Ken's ex and my aunt Linda's sister. It's ridiculous. No one cares though. It was like 45 years ago. But it's still pretty funny that my brother uncles are married to my sister aunts, one of whom dated both of my uncles. Story 6. My physiology teacher tends to ramble on about her personal life instead of, you know, teaching us physiology. She dated a guy in college, and when stuff didn't work out between them, her younger sister started dating and eventually married the guy. They're all still on good terms, and my teacher is fond of saying that her sister got the leftovers. Story 7. There was a guy on Tifu a while back. His girlfriend and her twin sister swapped places. Dude ended up proposing to the wrong twin. 
His girlfriend basically dumped him for not being able to tell the difference. I mean, it's not like he was stressed out or had other things on his mind. Anyways, I always kind of hoped he ended up with the twin. Story 8. I have a story for both of my wife's sisters, but I'll just stick to one. This sister is my age and used to be my best friend. We came close to hooking up a few times, but I saw her as more of a good friend. I dated a ton of her close friends and eventually her little sister, who I later married and had kids with. As soon as I started dating my wife, the friendship went super downhill. She is always salty to both of us during brief meets, but when we spend a few hours or more together, we have a blast like the old times. My wife has recently brought childhood books and notepads to our house for our kids from her parents' house. I found several doodles with hearts with the older sister and my name in them. I've pretty much messed around with every girl that she hangs out with. She's heard all the intimate details about what I've done with all of them. I found out she was once madly in love with me. She's let it slip that she loves me when we drink together as well. I now have a house and kids with her little sister and I feel horrible about everything. Story 9. I was engaged to a guy for four years that ended because of his inability to keep his little wang in his britches when he left the house. His older brother briefly lived with us during a job transition and we became pretty good friends. Shortly after leaving the man worker, I catch up with the older brother over drinks. To three years later, and we are married. They never had a close relationship to begin with, so it didn't cause much trouble. But the man worker started dating a woman recently who has a major issue with the situation. She doesn't want me at family gatherings and refuses to let my niece and nephew stay with us anymore. We still haven't figured out what her problem is, but we haven't lost any sleep over it. Story 10. Well, there don't seem to be answers. I can come close. Currently dating younger sister of an ex. Ex and I were really close friends for years. Met her through another ex, actually, and tried dating for a while. It didn't work because I couldn't really stop seeing her as a friend only. Younger sister always crushed on me and was flirty but obviously ignored it because I really liked the whole family and didn't want to do anything to fudge that up. Broke up with X. About a month later, the sister is up at college like 1.5 hours from me. We've been texting, and she says she wants me to visit. One thing led to another, and six months later, here we are. X doesn't really talk to me when I'm around the house on breaks or whatever, but the family still really likes me, so that's a win. Maybe I'll update this post in a few years. Story 11. After my grandmother passed away, 15 years before I was born, my grandfather got remarried for a few years before he divorced her to marry her sister. As a child, I just knew the second wife as Auntie Beryl. I didn't know the whole sorry story until one day my cousin asked, Did you know Granddad used to be married to Auntie Beryl? Called him a liar, ran inside to dob on him to the adults inside, which included Granddad, Auntie Beryl Grandma, third wife, and was met with an awkward response. By then, everyone was pals, but apparently the first few years after marriage number three wasn't so chummy involved some stalking death threats. Story 12. There were two sisters who, during their teen years, both adored a nice young man named Bill. They didn't like each other too much to begin with, but this drove them even further apart. Then he married one and had kids with her. The other sister married someone else, moved abroad, also had kids. Some while later, the other sister and Bill had an affair, and Bill and his wife ended up divorcing. He married the other sister, rendering the first cousins now step-siblings. The two sisters continue to hate each other all the more, and Bill's kids with his first wife call their biological aunt Mom. Everyone seems to be happy jolly, but I've only seen from the perspective of the kids and the other sister. I'm sure had I known the entire view, it would be different. Story 13. This all happened before I was born, and I didn't find out until I was in my 38S. Try to follow along, I had an Aunt Jennifer who was married to Bob. Bob was a bit of a hound and apparently cheated on her quite a bit. Still, Bob and Jennifer decide to have a baby and Michael was born. Bob ends up having an affair with Jennifer's sister, Anna. Jennifer finds out about Bob and Anna and gets the fudge out and takes Michael with her. Soon after, Jennifer starts dating my Uncle Rich. Rich and Bob know each other pretty well. They're not good friends or anything, but they seem to run in the same circle. Things start going well for Rich and Jennifer. So within two years, they decide to move in together and get married. In the meantime, Bob and Anna are going pretty strong, so they shack up and get married around the same time. Anna and Jennifer patch things up, and Jennifer forgives her. Over the years, things totally normalize, and they operate completely normally, at least on the surface, as Michael's dad doubles as his uncle, and his stepmom is his aunt. It was a very bizarre family dynamic, but it worked. Story 14, not me. The wife of my cousin actually dated his younger brother for nearly a year when they were teenagers. I remember it was weird when they started dating, with people in the family judging her. I'm coming from a big Catholic family. I think that the fact that she had close relationship when she was only 15 
was already shocking in the family at the time. Ah, the early 90s, but now they have four kids. Older is 18 years old. Younger brother is also married and has two kids. Everybody is friend now. I don't even think that the fact they dated when they were teenagers is even a subject of conversation anymore. Story 15. My cousin was married to a man and had a four-year-old son and a baby daughter. She was in deadly car accident that put her and her children in the hospital for months. Her husband wasn't hurt in the accident because he wasn't in the car. His brother was the driver and he was terminated. That's how he found out my cousin was planning on divorcing him for his brother, the father of her baby girl. Story 16. Went on a few dates with a girl, we hooked up in my car, and then I found out she had a boyfriend, so fudge that, few weeks later, friend of mine introduces me to a girl he's dating. It's her sister. Small world. Friend turns out to be a big, unpleasant person. Me and the sister start dating. Kinda weird at first, but she's amazing. Meet her friends, turns out her and her sister hang in the same group. It gets awkward. We date a couple years, I start attending family events regularly. Her sister starts becoming more comfortable around me. Sees me as a brother now. Still weird. Sister wears comfy house clothes when I'm around because we're family now. I see things I've seen before, but definitely should not be seeing now. GF doesn't seem to mind. Guess she's past it. Eight years go by. We're getting married next week. Her sister has been the most helpful person planning our wedding. Really appreciate everything she's done for us. Still weird. Story 17. My mom was previously married and had kids with my uncle, my dad's cousin. She got to know the whole extended family very well since everyone lived in the same town small town Mexico, so that's how she met my dad. It ended badly, and she was too poor to move back with her family in another state, so my dad's family took her and her kids in. They lived houses down from her ex, apparently, so everyone saw each other often. IDK how long she was with them before her and my dad started seeing each other, but it eventually happened. In the beginning, he treated the kids like his own. They were family after all, but after a while he started resenting them. Now he doesn't like them being brought up. I didn't even know they existed until I was probably 10, and that was just because I overheard my mom on the phone. They stayed in Mexico with their dad, my uncle, once my dad brought my mom and us, his actual kids, to the States. No one ever understood why he flipped suddenly. But they all still live in the same town, and my siblings visit my dad's family, my grandpa and aunts, regularly. Nobody has a problem with it except for my dad. Story 18. This isn't terribly interesting, but seeing as there aren't many other answers... I went on a couple of dates with a guy. He turned out to be enough of a banana that I didn't want to date him anymore, but we had the same group of friends and saw each other often enough. I'm now married to his younger brother, my best friend. They don't get along. We talked about everything once and agreed not to talk about it again unless something changes. He's understanding, glad that we met through his brother, but would prefer not to think about it overly much. It helps that neither of us really speak to his brother, and I don't consider him family. Story 19 I really liked a girl all throughout high school and into college. We dated some, went to prom, and things were okay. But I could tell that she was never going to like me as much as I liked her. We sort of drifted apart. Then I found out she went on a few dates with my brother. She way I liked him better from every other account that I've been told. No, no one was married. It was pretty miserable knowing this girl that I really liked was way more into my brother. Bad person. Oh well. Story 20. My wife was my best friend since grade school. And for a brief period during our high school years, I dated her younger sister. We had a mutual breakup after a few months and remained close afterwards. In college, my now wife and I decided to take our friendship to the next level. We were married a few years later and now have two kids. There is no awkwardness between any of us and the three of us frequently go out to dinner together. Everyone is lighthearted about it and my wife makes jokes all the time. Like when she's sucking my cock, looks up at me and says, I love the taste of my sister's unpleasant. All of us are on a bowling team together, too. Story 21. The summer before my freshman year in HS, I messed around with my mother's boyfriend's daughter. Had my first blowjob from her and nearly lost my virginity to her. Spent the summer fooling around. She was pretty freaky, and I was a 15-year-old dude. She was 17, so you can imagine. That ended when our parents found out. They were married a year and a half later, which I guess means I've been sucked off by my stepsister. Story 22. My dad dated both my mom and my auntie. My mom was head over heels in love with him from a very young age, unbeknownst to him, of course. They'd gone on a date or two, but had never become exclusive. My aunt showed an interest, and he dropped my mom and started dating my aunt. My aunt knew my mom was hopelessly in love with him and still went for it. My mom has told me that it absolutely devastated her. Eventually, he saw the light and realized my mom was the one for him. Dumped auntie, dated mom, proposed to her within the year. He doesn't like my aunt now.
not because of their past dating history, just because he thinks she's flipping nuts. Story 23. Hey, something I can answer. I started dating a girl after high school. We met while working at a grocery store. I heard through a friend of a friend she liked me, so I asked her out. We dated for a little while, but after about a month, she ended up breaking up with me over the phone. I was really bummed because I liked her a lot. Her twin, yeah, you heard right, sister also worked with us in the same department. It was super awkward at first because I would still confuse them for each other. Both have the same initials, wore same hairstyle, and uniforms don't help. After about three months, I heard from a friend of a friend that now the sister was asking around if I was still single. So a group of us went bowling, and I ended up making out with her in the parking lot. I was against dating her, but she actually pursued me, so I caved and we started dating. At first, the EX wouldn't make eye contact with me at work or speak to me. But after a while, the ex didn't seem to mind. The sister didn't seem to mind either. She didn't date me out of spite or anything. Fast forward 11 years, we are now married with two kids. The ex also has two kids from different fathers, been beaten a lot by her boyfriends, is always broke. No job, can't pay rent, getting kicked out of her apartment, no car, screams at her kids over the smallest thing, constantly dumping them off on others so she can clear her head. I look at her and say to myself, that could have been you by my side, but I wasn't good enough. I think sometimes how I got the better deal. I still talk to her a few times a week. No one thinks it's weird. TLDR dated a girl, then her sister. I am now married to the sister but there are no awkward or weird feeling between any of us. Extra content. Sometimes to get under my wife's skin, I will call her my silver medal. Story 24. Whenever people ask how me and my fiancé met, we lie and say the internet, because the actual answer could be the plot of a Jerry Springer show. The actual story is that we met because I was having repeated casual close relationship with his twin brother, R, and R's girlfriend, who I met off a swinger site. This turned into a really dramatic six-month-long affair with R cheating on his, previously mentioned, GEF with me, her finding out, and a whole lot of yelling and crying and drama. Early on, while all this was going down and before the affair and the drama, I ended up meeting R's brother, D, on a night where we were all just hanging out. We hit it off and became really close friends, and as things got really complicated, he was one of the only people that knew about what was going on between me and R. So we'd talk about it, and he'd listen to all this drama. I was going through a really poor time in my life, and while things were very passionate and chaotic with R, I came to really value D's calmness and patience and empathy, and really fell in love with him as a human being, completely outside of what was going on with R. They are extremely similar in a lot of ways, but I still jokingly refer to D as the good twin, because he really is so thoughtful and insightful and great. After everything blew up with R and his GF finding out and being rightfully furious, I ended up spending even more time with D, and we fell in love. I moved in with him, and we've been together for six years. He's amazingly chill about the whole thing, and we just laugh about how it's a super awkward way to have found each other. I genuinely feel bad for R's GF, who is still with him, because it's really poor for her to have to see the other woman at family gatherings forever. We've moved past it, but it was really weird in group settings for a while. I'm sure that she still thinks that I'm only with D because I couldn't have R, which isn't true at all. Story 25. In Malcolm in the Middle, Hal dated Lois's sister, then married Lois. The sister was pissed at Lois for stealing her marriage. The sister also had the kids a bunch of gifts like a car and a cotton candy machine. Lois didn't like the gifts, but in the end, she still loved her sister, gave her a kidney, and wasn't mad or disgusted that Hal was with her especially because Hal said Lois was much better if a person, and that's why he married Lois, not her sister. Story 26. This happens in my family a lot. Not to me personally, but my grandma married a guy and they had two daughters. We'll call them Auntie A and Auntie B. They got a divorce and she married my grandfather. They had two more daughters. We'll call them Mom and Auntie C. Grandma's first husband then married. Grandma's sister. They had a daughter. We'll call her Cousin Sue. So, Cousin Sue is my mom's cousin? But she is my mom's half-sister's half-sister because Cousin Sue has the same dad as Auntie A and Auntie B. Still with me, there will be a quiz. There was a lot of animosity between my grandma and her sister who married her ex. And between my grandpa and the ex. My grandpa actually did not terminate the ex at one point. Hey, it's Wyoming. What can I say? But wait, there's more. Cousin Sue grew up and married a guy. They had three kids. He passed away. She then married his brother and had another kid. So now her kids are sibling cousins, just like she is a sibling cousin to two of her own half-sisters. Oh, and Auntie A married a guy. He had this brother. They introduced the brother to my mom, 
Yes, he is my dad. I am my own cousin. This makes family gatherings uncomfortable, since most of these people are divorced. But their kids still have to see the full sets of former in-laws. Because I know someone will need a chart. Hell, I need a chart. Story 27. I didn't end up marrying any of them, but I did bang all three sisters in a family. I dated one in high school, so it happened then. A few years later, one was getting married. I was invited to the wedding as two's date, so it happened in the car after the wedding. Later that evening, three mentioned that she knew both of her sisters had me, and she didn't want to be left out, so I happily obliged. One found out that I had close relationship with both of her sisters on her wedding night, and I was never invited to hang out with them ever again. They're all married now, and although I'm not particularly proud of that time in my life, what up? Story 28 doesn't exactly answer the question, but my father is a private IT worker, I guess you could say, and he had to do a job at my mother's side business. When he saw my aunt, he had a crush on her, and after she denied him, he ended up getting together with my mother. No one really minds it anymore, and we even all make jokes about it once in a while, and it always brings a good laugh. BTW, they're together for 15 years now. Story 29, not exactly the same, but I dated a girl for a while. Thought I was going to marry her. She ended up cheating on me, but I was very close with her family her little sister in particular. After we broke up, her sister would text me often and one day asked if she could come up to my place for the weekend. So she did. I had planned on taking her to a few places around my city, but about two beers and an hour after she got there, she basically said we should spend the whole weekend staying in and flipping as a way of getting back at her sister. No complaints, she was super cute. Story 30. Also, not a direct response, but I will say that there were circumstances in olden days where this wasn't so uncommon. My father's mother passed away very young. My father was 14 and my uncle was 7. My father's father. I resist using grandmother, grandfather, since both of them passed away before I was born. By all accounts, a good and decent man was not up to the task of working full-time to support his kids and also being the only parent. His deceased wife's younger sister was in her early 40s, wasn't dating and absolutely loved her nephews. And so they married, not for love, but for the benefit of my father and uncle. My father's father passed away a year before I was born, but the woman who I came to know as my grandmother, even though she was technically my great aunt, passed away when I was in my late twenties. I was very close to her. When I was a bit older and a bit braver, I once asked her about this arrangement, and I asked her point blank that, even though their marriage wasn't based in traditional love, although they did grow to love each other, if it was platonic. I remember her answering with a little bit of a mischievous grin. How could it have been? That was a great, real, human moment between us. Story 31. I think I can contribute something of an interesting story. I dated a girl all throughout high school, had every intention to marry her, etc. She eventually cheated on me with what she said was a cooler version of me. Fudge my self-esteem, right? Anyway, fast forward a few years and she had a son with this guy. They dated for short time period and broke up. I guess she fancied his brother enough to date him. They eventually had a kid and got married. So she has two kids each by a blood brother. I'm not sure how the family tree works there. Side note, the guy she married is certainly the uglier of the two. So karma is a bad person, I suppose. Story 32. My sister has been dating the brother of her ex for over a year, and it has been her most stable relationship thus far. They are living in an apartment that's next door to the brother's apartment. They seem to deal with it all right, and while there was a period of discomfort, awkwardness, and conflicts, they are all friends now and hang out regularly, usually with more than just the three of them because I imagine that would still be a bit uncomfortable, being the third wheel and the ex at the same time. Edit. The brothers are twins, and I, for one, cannot really tell them apart very easily. Story 33. Not me, but a friend back in high school dated this girl from our freshman class. She was actually a pretty cool chick, but her sister was one of the hottest seniors in school. The sister always had a new dude with her every week or so. My dumbass friend cheated on the little sister with big sister. It turned out the sisters were both suspended from school for fist fighting in the girl's locker room. My buddy was a hero for like a week after that. Now he works at a gas station. Story 34. Not exactly what you are asking for, but anyway. Back when I was 18, I dated the brother of my ex. At the time, I thought I was some kind of vixen. It was so embarrassing. It was messy because the mother hated me, quite rightly and the rest of the family thought I was a total hoe. It lasted a few years until he cheated on me, and that's how it ended. Funnily enough, that's how his brother ended things too. I never admitted it to my own family, as deep down I was really ashamed of myself. Story 35. Well, my older brother is currently engaged to an ex-GF of mine. He lied to me for years about their relationship while I knew they were into each other. How did I know? When we were broken up, 
She cheated on me at college. But still talking, we got into a fight. And during the fight, she told me she had close relationship with my brother. I never told him I knew until a while later when he asked me if they could be together and lied to my face when I asked if they had ever been physical. We come from a very close family. I've always considered my brother some of my best friends. But his actions speak for themselves, and his and my relationship is weaker than when he used to pick on me as children. It's caused me a lot of anxiety. I've been seeing a therapist. I dread the day they actually get married if they're going to pull the trigger. I'm embarrassed by it. My friends back home are in disbelief that she's still involved in my family. I want to get to know my brother's fiancé, but I already know so much about the type of person she is that I will never trust her. I still love my brother, but I haven't looked up to him for a long time. It's sad. He gave me a half-assed apology once, mostly because my dad forced him to. Maybe I'm just a banana, but I refuse to celebrate their relationship because it isn't some fairy tale love story. My brother's approaching 30, and I'm sure as his friends get married, he's feeling pressure. It's all poor, but I've got a life and career ahead of me that I know I won't do anything like that to one of my friends, and especially not my brother. Story 36. Also came close, but not quite since we never actually dated. In college, I had a close friend who apparently had a long-term crush on me. We briefly hooked up for a little bit junior year, but I wasn't into it. We stayed friends, and after I graduated college, I started dating his younger brother, who is now my husband. Sorry if it's a letdown, but it didn't cause any drama or even any short-term falling out. My husband had a serious conversation with him about it to make sure he felt okay about it. And when we first started dating, we also had a serious conversation where he was like, so I know we're friends and all, but if you break up with my brother, I'm just letting you know that I'm on his team. But anyway, he actually ended up officiating our wedding, so I'd say it's all good. Story 37. I'm kind of at the periphery of such a relationship. My wife dated her sister's now husband, who was one of my best friends in high school. My wife and her sister actually don't seem phased by it at all. Though only after years of us being married did my wife tell me she had given my friend now Bill a few blowjobs. I realize that's not unexpected in a high school relationship, but it definitely weirded me out for a while, especially since she only shared specifics after us having been together for seven plus years. Fun fact though, apparently he told her she was bad at it and that's why she's been very reluctant to do oral close relationship our whole relationship. So thanks for flipping that up for me, Drew. Bonus round. I had a long time crush on the sister in high school as well. Story 38. This is exactly how my mother met my father. Dad was dating my mother's older sister, who was a reddish blonde version of my mother. It's funny how they are exactly the same personality and physical build, but one is quite more Irish looking. They dated for a few months, but things didn't work out because my aunt already had two kids and didn't want any more. So dad was moving on, but my grandparents adored him. So they purposefully set up a day where my dad went to drop off something at their house. My mother walked out to get something out of the car or was going somewhere, and they bumped into each other for the first time. Two years later, I popped into the world. D, 22 years old now, still not awkward between them at all. Aunt moved on to another great guy who she dated for 20 years. Yes, 20 years. They lived together and everything. But one day it was just, why don't we get married? Every time we get together around the holidays, one of the old stories pops up, and it is funny to hear it from everyone's perspective. My grandfather passed when I was four, but it is adorably funny to hear it from my grandmother's perspective.